Hey folks, another quick video showing you how to multiply on a Sorbonne. Um, this is also uh, quite fun to do. You can sometimes get a little messed up, but if you're careful and uh, you just keep track of your numbers properly, you should be able to do it quite consistently and accurately. So we're going to just, as an example, multiply two three-digit numbers. Um, let's just randomly come up with something. I'll say 279 times 6. 53 let's say okay so we have I'll just zoom in here 279 times 653 okay so we're gonna set the Soroban to 279 okay that's 279 and 6 I'll put 6 uh, 53 now you don't have to put that on the Soroban I just happen to do that because I find it easier to put it in, but because you can do it on paper anyway. But anyway, that's two, seven, nine. This would be times six, four, no, 53, okay? Now the answers are gonna be, it's gonna be in this six digit area here. So I usually do pairs. So you're gonna multiply these two, these two, these two, then you're gonna do these two, these two, these two, and then finally this, this, and this. And you're gonna, each answer you're gonna use, you're gonna add, to your ant to your sum as you do it so the first value will end up starting here the second one when you multiply these two will end up here and the third one will end up here then when you move in you'll go here 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 and then when you do the final ones you'll go you'll add it here here and here okay so let's go ahead just as an example and see if we can manage to get it properly uh, calculated so we got first number is three times nine. Three times nine is 27, two, seven, okay? Now we do three times seven, which will go here. Three times seven is 21. So we have two and one, then we go here. Three times four is six. One, so that's five and a one, okay? Now we move on to our next column. So now we're going to put the answer starting here. We've got 5 times 9. 5 times 9 is 45. So you have to put a 4 and a 5. You can't add 4 here because we don't have enough beads. So you put a, a 1 here uh, and you subtract a 6. So that's 4, right? A 10 and a 6. This is, has to be a five, so you just put that down. The next column becomes five times seven, which is 35. So you're gonna put three and five. And then here you have five times two, which is 10. So it's a one and a zero. Finally, you have this, and you're gonna start the, putting the answer here, because it's in the hundreds. So that's six times nine. Six times nine is 54. So 50, you can't put a 4 here. You need to get a 10 in here and take away 6. You can't put a 10 in there, so you do this. Okay, and now you have to take away 6. Okay, so that's 54. If that makes any sense. Next column, hopefully I did that right. Um, next column is 6 times 7, right? What's 6 times 7? 42. So you want to put four here. So that's a five minus one. So that's 42. And then finally, you have, uh, sorry, six times two, which is 12. So one and then two. So the answer according to the Soroban is uh, one, eight. What is this? Uh, two, sorry, one, Eight, seven. Okay, let's see if this is correct. I'm gonna get the calculator open here. One second. Okay. So we have two seventy nine times six fifty three. There you go. One eighty two hundred eighty two thousand. 187 okay 
So that's, you know, now if you look at how you do this normally, you would put out a line like this, you know, three times nine, 27, you'd put a two, three times seven, 21 plus two is three, you put a two, three times two is six plus two, eight, you put a zero, right? Then five times nine, 45, you put a five, a four, five times seven, 35 plus four, nine, four, five times two is 10 plus one, 14, right? And then put two zeros, six times nine is uh, 54, you put a five, six times seven is 42 uh, plus five, 57, six times two is what, 12, seven, 17. Uh, I think I got that right. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, and four. What is that? Eight plus nine, 17 plus four is what, 23? No, hold on. 17 plus four is 21, okay? Two plus four is six, and another seven, six plus seven. Uh, see, I already messed it up. I think that's a one here. Yeah, one plus four is five plus seven. That's a two, one... Yeah. Anyway, you get the point. I find it easier doing this already because you get messed up with so many digits carried over and so on and blah, blah, blah. On the Soroban, it's kind of nice and neat and you can just add it as you go. Okay. Anyway, that's an example of multiplication using a Soroban, using three digit numbers. You can multiply even more stuff out as long as you do the pair. So say again, if you have um, four digits numbers, let's say two, six, seven, eight times nine, three, four, two, right? You're gonna multiply two times eight, two times seven, two times four, two times two, okay? So you're basically doing this, 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 then you do, and you put it, you know, in the columns here, one, two, three, four, then you move over one, and when you do the four, four times eight, four times seven, four times eight, four times two, and you do it here, right? Then when you do the 300, you do three times eight, three times seven, three times six, three times two, and you carry it over here. And then the nine times eight, nine times seven, nine times six, nine times two, over here, right? And the Soroban, every time you do each row, you shift over and you just add as you go along. So the Soroban answer here just keeps becoming more complete. So when you finally have the answer, the Soroban is set already to your final answer. And that's essentially what you do. I just chose a three digit example because I can see it here and here and it's easy then to look at it there. But again, as you go through it quickly, you just kind of do this, do, 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 and you're done. Now division and multiplication, sorry, um, division would be similar, it would be a little bit more difficult and challenging, but it, it's done basically the same way. And minus is also very similar to addition, just the reverse and both of them, once you start using the Soroban um, frequently, you kind of get an in almost a uh, natural instinct as to what how to move the beads around when and you almost don't think anymore. It's automatic. And the um, the idea is again to use your mind, not to just blindly punch in numbers in a calculator, and that way you can get a little bit better appreciation uh, for what you're doing when you do calculations. And if you're really good at it, you stop using this at all and you're able to figure a lot of this stuff in your head, um, you know, so that you're pretty quick and you don't have to be reliant only on a calculator for everything. Um, so hopefully I'll do a few more videos on this in the future. But again, just a quick introduction to, uh, you know, this Japanese Soroban that has been around for thousands of years, you know, in this latest improvement uh, I think has been developed over the last hundred years but something that is probably very commonly used in the east but you know westerners are really unfamiliar with it you know in North America pretty much nobody is taught how to use this thing or even uh, is remotely exposed to one so hopefully there'll be some renewed interest um, in, you know in the kids today so that they can uh, keep their mental math exercises um, you know as strong as possible so they're not reliant only on using computers and calculators for everything so hope you enjoyed the video again if you are using a Soroban and you like it and you think it's a good idea 
give this video a thumbs up and uh, hope to see you next time.